Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use our fully integrated environment, Fidelity, in short videos of a few minutes. Today we will discuss the general workflow in Fidelity and the different views in the interface. On the Fidelity homepage, templates have been predefined according to your applications. For example, the Turbo template will be most helpful for turbo machinery meshing and solving, while the open templates are directed toward low and high speed external aerodynamics. You can create additional templates to fit your own applications. The powerful Fidelity platform allows you to conduct all your work within one software, from the geometry import and modification to the post-processing of your simulations. You can navigate through the different contexts using the bar at the bottom of the window. In the geometry context, you can import geometry files created outside Fidelity in the CAD tree. Fidelity supports a wide range of geometry file formats, as you can see here. The different views can be fully customized according to what you need and then saved for later projects as a new template. In this case, we are using the Turbo template. The top view shows all the geometry parts imported in the CAD tree. On the bottom left, we can see a meridional view of the impeller blade. The x-axis is the axial direction and the y-axis is the radial direction. On the bottom right are displayed the impeller sector and volume to be meshed as defined by the family tree. The domain context allows you to define the parts of the model you want to mesh. In this case, we have defined one domain for the impeller row and one domain for the volute. Connections between domains should also be defined in this context using the Connection Management button. Here we have a rotor stator connection, shown in red, which is defined between the impeller passage and the volute. In the mesh context, you will impose the mesh settings for each geometry and setup. Several meshing techniques are available allowing you, for example, to generate an unstructured hybrid mesh for the volute and a structured mesh for the turbo machinery passage. For unstructured meshes, two approaches are available, surface to volume and volume to surface. Once the meshing is completed, you can visualize the surface or volume mesh in the 3D view. In the simulation context, all the CFD settings are selected, from the flow solver, which can be density-based or pressure-based, to the boundary conditions of each patch. You can decide what level of control you want to have on the settings by switching between Essential, Standard and Advanced. The Advanced panel will unlock options such as the nonlinear harmonic method that advanced users might want to have access to. Once the simulation is launched, the residuals will appear in the monitor that can be opened by clicking on the double arrow between the tree and the 3D view. The last context, result analysis, is to post-process the simulation. You can add views such as 3D views or meridional views to facilitate the solution analysis. Using the probe icons, you can analyze and visualize the solution using several tools that are discussed in other videos. This wraps up the overview of our powerful new platform, Fidelity, and the navigation through the different contexts. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the descriptions. Thank you and have a great Tuesday.